Hello. Today we're going to be installing a pipe plug from uh, Source One Environmental. This is the smallest of the pipe plugs that we offer. This is the four inch. It's also available in a six and an eight. We can do special orders if you have to go larger than that. However, you will have to special order a packer to do the installs for that. You'll notice the packer used to do these installs is very specialized in that unlike our standard packers which have a metal end so you can attach a cable to pull that as well as push it this one comes with a rubber nose on it and a single stripe here showing where you would use this for a slightly different application which we'll get to in a moment you'll also notice that the protective sleeve that we put on this packer two of these are supplied in the kit by the way the sleeves is closed off at one end and that's because ultimately when this patch is being placed onto the packer it's going to be cupping over the end of this packer and you want to keep any resin off of that packer so let's get back to the patch and explain what we're dealing with when you get it it's going to be sealed up in a bag and folded just like this in quarters you simply unfold the patch You'll notice that we have colored dots here at the corners and on the reverse side, we've got red and blue dots. And those become critical when it comes to folding it because what we're gonna be doing here is folding in into basically a sort of party hat type design. So obviously you wet out your patch, both sides with the resin, again, supplied in your kit. Once that has been wetted out, you then flip it to the green side and you match the dots to one another. So it's green to green, just like this. Then you would go blue to blue. Then you flip the whole thing over and go red to red. After that's done, you take the ears, open them up so that the green dots are again apparent. And this is what you created, just a little cup basically or party hat as I called it which is then placed on the end of the pack on the nose end and you make sure that that's firmly in there at that point you then form the patch the nose of the packer and you take your wire ties at least in the case of this size and you cinch it down nice and tight. Just a couple twists will do it. As usual, you'll use your wire cutters, snip off the excess. We recommend doing that twice on this patch. Of course, once it inflates, it'll break the ties. Again, you will snip off the excess here then load this normally, just like you would a standard pipe patch. One thing you do want to keep in mind, however, because this is just sitting on the end of a packer, you do have the risk of it popping off if you happen to pull the back on the packer while you're doing the install. So once you get it moving, you keep it moving in that direction until you get down to the point where you're going to be doing your install. If you're blocking off a lateral, going to a main. We usually recommend stopping just short of the main before you do all your inflate, obviously. So we're talking about four, five inches shy of that part where the lateral opens up into the main. That's where you'd be doing your install for that type of closure. And that's pretty much it.